You're watching Vaga Brothers, and right now we're being steamed alive. This is Ayurveda. Welcome to Sri Lanka. I'm Alex. I'm Marco, and we're the Vaga Brothers. Brothers, vagabonds, and your go-to guides for travel tips, inspiration, and vlogs on YouTube. In this series, we're discovering the best of Sri Lanka. Ancient cities, stunning nature, rich culture, and delicious food. Welcome back to Bagger Brothers. If you're just tuning in, my name is Marco. I'm Alex. And we have been traveling around Sri Lanka for the better part of two weeks. Yeah, we've done a lot. We've seen a lot. We've been on an elephant safari. We've been up in the highlands through tea plantations on epic train rides and finished it out at the backpacker haunt of Ella. But right now we're in the surf town of Marissa. Marissa is in the southwest of the country. It gets great surf. It has tons of history, great food, great weather, warm water. What more could you want? On that note, Time for a cold beer. Yeah. impressions of this place? Very mellow. A ton of surfers, there's a lot of people in the water, but uh, this is a really chill spot. The temperature is nice and cool, there's pretty fun looking waves out front, everybody's super mellow, welcoming, and yeah, I'm stoked man, sitting on the beach, catching a sunset, drinking a beer, love it. Seems like a nice balance too of like um, surf culture and local culture, even though we, we pointed out that those fishermen they're actors in the afternoon. They do fish in the morning, and there's a bunch of fishermen up in this harbor here and along the beach. So it's not a total surf town. There's still real local culture here that's very strong. And there's all these really cheap eateries along the coast. It's pretty much like a food truck. It's a food truck. We found like a food truck. It's literally like a crate serving rotis and beer. So we got some food on the way. And in the meantime, we'll just sit here, drink these beers, catch the sunset, snuggle, Snuggle with Lanka and uh, enjoy the afternoon. Wait a second. You may be asking yourself, who is Lanka? <laughs> One of the things you'll notice when traveling through Sri Lanka is that there are little street dogs everywhere, but there's puppies just wandering around. And this little pup is just so young, it can barely walk, but it is so cute. What's in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hi! Oh man! Oh my god! Oh my god! We just stopped at a hotel, a little roadside hotel, to get a cup of tea, and we found a beautiful little puppy, a little baby boy. He's fallen in love, we've fallen in love, and we're gonna find a way to make this happen. Oh, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it. We're officially puppy parents. Um, and this little cutie's coming home with us. Congratulations, bro, you're an uncle. Congratulations <laughs> to you guys, this guy's cute. <laughs> Here you are. Out the window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it's okay, buddy. We're gonna clean you. We already, that's one tick down. How many more? Okay. Fleas, ticks. We're gonna clean you up, Lanka. Well, first things first, we have driven down the road and we found an animal clinic. Luckily, we have our driver and our hosts here who are helping us kind of navigate the process. It's really nice having help right now, trying to figure out exactly what vet to go to. 
So now we're gonna head to a different vet that specializes in bringing him overseas. So that is a very good sign that we're in the right direction. Lanka has his pet passport. We have a little bit of canine milk substitute for him. And we have a little deworming pill that we're gonna give you. <laughs> and he is happy and cute. Good job, Lanka. Well, we woke up this morning to a stormy sunrise. The surf is super blown out. It rained torrentially last night, so there's a lot of runoff. Uh, and unfortunately, we decided not to go for a surf, but we're gonna switch things up and do a little bit of Ayurveda. So Ayurveda is an ancient Indian technique which also exists here in Sri Lanka. It's slightly different here than it is in India, but basically it's a science of life. That's what Ayurveda means. It's about balancing the three doshas, which are earth, fire, and air. These basically are the digestive, immunity, and nervous systems. It's a bunch of different techniques. A lot of them use herbs, others use oils. The most notable is the Shirodhara technique, which basically has hot oil being poured on your third eye in your forehead to relax and help you sleep better. Sounds like it could be a torture, but I don't think it's gonna be like that. I think it's the opposite. It's gonna be extremely relaxing. So without further ado, let's get into it. are essentially totally covered. Now I'm in a full body steam lodge. It's essentially a giant tree full of leaves that turned on like a propane tank underneath me and it's starting to get really hot in here. But I'm wondering why do I have to do either of those things when I can just walk outside in Sri Lanka and be equally as sweaty for free? Well Alex, that's because Ayurveda depends a lot on the oils absorbing into your skin, so it's got to be hot. That's why they actually won't do Ayurvedic treatments after sunset, so even though it's hot outside, the steam is really going to let these oils seep into our skin. I did a pretty cool one. It wasn't really a massage, it was just the oil on the third eye. Got a little back rub at the end, also pretty nice, but I feel like I'm going to turn into a pork bun in here. For better or for worse, <laughs> a steamed bow. A human dim sum. <laughs> a human dim sum, exactly. Lanka, sound asleep. As usual, he's also very relaxed. This is called puppy therapy here at the spa. Well, that was quite the experience. That was my first Ayurvedic treatment. And, um, Definitely a little bit of weather on the way out, but it's actually the perfect way to spend a rainy day um, getting inside of a giant coffin and steaming yourself back to health. So we just stopped for some lunch on the side of the road and the weather has turned, but like turned, turned. It's Not like turned. No, it has raining like taken rain. a turn for the worse. It's torrential rain outside. There's like a storm surge going on in the ocean. Uh, we're getting splashed by salt water and fresh water at the same time. And that does not happen very often. This is the part of Sri Lanka where the tsunami hit in 2004, so it definitely can see some serious ocean swells. Uh, but we're going to try to make the most of the day. We're heading up to Gaul, this historic city. You know, worst comes to worst, we can always sit inside a pub. That, depending on your outlook, could be best comes to best. Well, we have just arrived to the beautiful town of Gaul. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's one of the best preserved forts in Asia. It was built in 1589 by the Portuguese who came here for one thing, 
cinnamon. The Portuguese were later kicked out by the Dutch, who built most of the fortifications that you see today. And from coastal enclaves like this, they eventually took over most of the country, gaining monopoly on the cinnamon trade and making themselves fabulously rich in the process. Gaul is no longer an active military fort. Nowadays, most of it has been converted for tourism, hotels, or shopping. But it still stands the test of time and even weathered the 2004 tsunami. Finally, we come to the end of our trip, and uh, it's been quite an experience. No, what was your favorite bit about Sri Lanka? I don't know. I think that you know, coming here, with the rain and the gray, it's kind of like a sad feeling. I feel a little down because honestly, I don't want my trip to Sri Lanka to end. I've been so pleasantly surprised by everything that we've experienced about this country so far, and uh, you know, I know that Sri Lanka has had a little bit of a rough recent history, but. Things are really on the up and up, and this is an incredible travel destination that we highly recommend that you come and visit. I think, for me, one of my favorite things so far that we've experienced was, I just really liked natural Sri Lanka, wild Sri Lanka, you know, getting to see the elephants, hiking up to that waterfall, uh, seeing all the different types of wildlife that are just like casually crossing the road. That was super cool. I'd like to come back, I'd like to do Yala National Park, try to find a leopard in the wild. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the, the wilderness of this diverse, incredible little island. Personally, I really loved how many different types of cultures have come through here and how Sri Lanka has been linked to far away parts of the world since ancient times. And a lot of that being through the spices uh, and and just seeing how all of those influences from the Dutch to the English to the Arabs to the Malays and Chinese all here still existing today. I think that's what makes this destination really stick out from other parts of Asia. Also, not to you mention, can taste it. Yeah, not to mention the food is great. The food really is a product of that. You yeah. see all these different cultures rep represented on the plate, and um, everyone comes together through the dinner table, and it's a great way to experience all those different influences in one spot. Spicy. Food here is real spicy. It's delicious. Favorite dish? I don't know, kotu roti was delicious, but I really just love the dal. It's yeah. like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, a big bowl of yellow lentils with all sorts of spices and cinnamon and cardamom and, and peppers. There's just something so simple and delectable about it. I, I couldn't get enough of it. All you need is love. <laughs> I personally love the egg hoppers for breakfast. It was great. Uh, and also, yeah, I'm on the same page with the dal. It was amazing. What was your favorite place that we visited? I really liked the Jet Wing Hotel that we stayed at, which was kind of more spaced out, more of a eco lodge feel, where you had your own little villa and you'd walk out the back door and you'd have this huge rice field in front of you and big forested green hills, birds everywhere, mongoose running around. I don't know, there's just something so like simple and beautiful about that. I really enjoyed it. How about you? I really like this place, Gaul. Unfortunately, it's raining today, but you can just see how beautiful this destination is. The beach right on the walls of this fortress, which is immaculately preserved. Um, I also really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed Ella. I thought that the vibe there was really cool. I liked how the backpacker vibe was something different, how it was nestled in nature, and all the things that we did around that area. Just like the highlands, the highlands were amazing. And down here in the south is also really cool. They're just totally different vibes. If you can combine a little bit of the highlands with the south, I think you have a perfect vacation. We need to come back here though. We got rained out. We were supposed to get in the water, experience the surf culture a little bit. I'm kind of bummed because we woke up this morning to like torrential rain mm. uh, and just totally blown out choppy storm surf. So I guess that means that we have to come back to Sri Lanka. Uh, we found a beautiful little puppy and we're gonna come back He's a little too young to bring with us back to the United States right now, so we have to wait a couple of months, which means we're coming back to Sri Lanka, and I'm very excited about that. First and foremost, big thanks to Sri Lanka Tourism for helping make this whole trip possible. Thank you to Jetwing and our driver Nero for being such a great resource, uh, full of information and getting us from A to B. 
And thank you guys for watching. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your buddies, uh, subscribe to Backer Brothers for more travel videos from all around the world. And in the meantime, make sure you watch the rest of this series if you haven't already. Stay curious, keep exploring. We'll see you on the road. Let's get a cocktail. Let's do that. Yes.